Guys, if you clicked on this video, I am assuming you have some idea what it's about. It's got a thumbnail and it's got a title, so you're here. If you want to see me make some lures for some other YouTubers, click subscribe, watch this video, give it a thumbs up and all that. I won't be giving the lures to them in this video. That'll be another video, probably potentially the next video. But this Sunday at my house right here, potentially in here, but out there I have a pizza oven. I have Robbie fishing, Rowan from, well Robbie from Robbie fishing. I feel weird saying that saying it's called Robbie fishing, but Robbie Alexander from Robbie fishing, Rowan from RKJ fishing, Brett from Cod Gobbler, Jerry from Jerry's Fishing Banter, and myself who are the original five people from the Shield Committee from last year. And it's been 12 months and it's time to pick a new Shield winner, which means Shaney D from Guru Gang, last year's winner, has now joined the Shield. So the six of us. And we'll all be here on Saturday and we're going to be discussing channels and going over our short lists and picking another uh, YouTuber, fishing YouTuber, who has been putting in the effort, who is uh, showing uh, improvements in technique in fishing and, and all that sort of stuff. I'll go over all that a bit more in the next video, which will be the behind the scenes for the 2020 Shield. In that, I will present these lures to the guys. If we get them done, if I don't get them done, I won't. But if we get them done, I'll be presenting them to them in that video. And uh, the reason is I'm going to have this video done, edited, but I'm not going to release it, obviously, until I give them to them, or they'll watch it and I'll know I'm making them for them. So, I made a, it's inside, hard body spinner boat. I'm going to make a few more of these, and I'm making them a bit differently. I'm using uh, solid wire instead of a twist wire. Um, it's probably a better uh, connection to the hook. And ow, 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 ow. And I'll be building them from the hook point. Ow! Ow! Hooks are sharp. I'll be building them from the hook point out wire wise instead of starting from the uh, blade. Now, I'm not going to go over all the details of all the lures that I'm making because it's just too much. So I'm just going to sort of show it. Just going to sort of show the highlights and uh, you'll sort of see with a bit of music what's going on as we go through. The one I made has a twist wire, has a hook, has a hard body. The hard body comes through sort of wherever, sort of, I guess it's more like, uh, whatever it's like, like that sort of thing. That's sort of where it comes through on the other one. And I just want more of a gape here. So I'm going to be putting it, I've got a mark on this side, I'm cheating. Like that. Uh, so big, heaps bigger gate, making it easier for the fish to get hooked onto the hard body. Just a single blade on these ones. So just a single blade and then the hard body to tie, try and entice the fish in and get them onto the hard body part of the spinner. All trial and error, that's what we're going for. What I have here are a pile of spinner baits, inline spinners that have been through the ringer. Uh, dints, chips, bent wire, all that sort of stuff, blades missing. I'm going to salvage the parts I need off this. That's the plan, gonna get into it, not gonna hold you up for much longer, and you guys are just gonna see the highlights as we go, so that this video isn't 45 minutes long. Let's do it.
Champa time. Time for Champa line. You're going to have to mind the noise. Alex is making a lure as well. So, helping himself. He designed a lure and he's going to build it. So, Champa time. I've got eight lures, all looking pretty much the same. We'll draw the champers on them, uh, we'll carve them, and then we'll start drilling and setting things out to get the hardware into the lure. carved uh, that's it for tonight tomorrow I'll sand them and then we'll start drilling and carving uh, the holes for the hardware and all that sort of stuff after you get some more hooks but come along real quick uh, one for each of the guys on the shield committee plus Tronky who's an honorary member he was here last year and he's coming in this year and also one of them will be marked with winner uh, of the shield 2020 and it'll go to whoever wins so it'll be posted off with the shield so that's what we've got guys that's um where we're at and tomorrow we'll start to make them look like uh, hard body spinner baits took my car into town and played mechanic. Uh, before I did that, before I left, I did some things off camera. Uh, namely, I filled all of these with lead. I did the initial baking soda and uh, super glue to start filling in the top. So I've got to finish doing that and I've got to fill in around the lead holes and then we're going to seal these. I've come out, it's pretty late. I've come out to do this because I want to be able to seal these so that tomorrow morning they're good to go for painting. So I've got to tie up the lead holes, fill them and do some filing and sanding and fill the top and then we're going to seal them. Spinnerbaits in polyurethane. Placing it in this tub. Putting it down here. Now this is a vacuum chamber. What a vacuum chamber does 
this little pump here will suck all will start to suck the air out here and it'll suck as much air as it can and what that would do is the air in the timber because the vacuum it scores will actually be drawn out of the timber where something is removed something will replace it so because the timbers submerged in polyurethane what happens is the air is drawn out of the timber and polyurethane is drawn into the timber and what that does is it actually not only seals it like if I left pulled it out now that timber would be sealed it penetrates the grain and seals right through the grain strengthens the wood makes it denser makes it sink which are all things that we want for this lure so I'm going to do that right now George. Yeah, you can see the vacuum starting, and you can see the vacuum starting. Look at the bubbles coming out straight away, being drawn out of that timber. Polyurethane flooding into the timber right now. Uh, you would have noticed a couple of times I opened the handle and let air in. Uh, that's because the bubbles are going to overflow. But that doesn't let air back into the lure because they're under the surface of the polyurethane. So it just reduces the vacuum in the container, gets rid of the bubbles, and then it starts drawing more bubbles out of the timber. Open that up. Hang these on the rotisserie, and I'm going to bed. So you can kind of see how saturated they actually look. And they've absorbed all of that polyurethane. And look, this particular, this one, looks waterlogged. And that's fantastic because that polyurethane is going to cure, oh, sorry, is going to cure throughout that timber and not only uh, make it waterproof, but strengthen it as well. And it's sort of highlighted some of the grains. This one here looks fantastic. I'm thinking this one here is probably going to have a nude side on it. So top and bottom, nude side with maybe some scale patterns or something. <laughs> Potentially a couple like that, but we'll see. Because of how cold it was, these weren't dry yet properly. You could still feel they were damp. They were that soaked with polyurethane that they didn't dry overnight. So I got the heat gun out to dry them and thought, I'm going to give a couple. Oh. I'm going to give a couple a bit of extra burn treatment, a light sand, and then they're the ones that are going to be nude, so they'll have a bit of a burn finish. There might be one other I do nude without the burn finish, but I reckon that might be interesting. So we'll see what that comes out like. Finish drying. They're all sanded. You guys are dirty. What are you man up to? They're all sanded and ready for painting. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any new blades for spinner baits, and the idea of making these was to salvage some old blades, but they are a little bit worse for wear. I've given them a clean and a polish on the Dremel uh, polish wheel the best that I can. That's what we're working with. What I've done <clears throat> is laid them out like this on purpose, because now I'm about to paint them, I want to be able to refer with each lure back to what blade it has to somewhat try and tie it in to the blade. Um, some might not at all, but hopefully the others, some will tie in. So we'll um, 
jump in now, set all these up on clamps and get the airbrush running and see what we come up with. Tell you what, you guys are the worst at keeping up. Flat batteries, this time the memory card went full. You've really got to watch yourselves. How am I meant to show you what happens if you keep doing that? I have painted all the lures and they are not my best work. I had no end of trouble with the airbrush uh, being so cold and damp around here, even with the condensation catcher on it just sending water through the line so moisture through the line and it made painting a nightmare so I've painted all the lures as you can see laid out the eyes uh, which are what color eyes I want on them so what we're going to do now is glue the eyes in and that will that'll allow the eyes to dry and be properly set and give the lures a chance to dry a bit more overnight before I clear coat them so there's no chance of any moisture being under the clear coat I've had in the past of rushed clear coat and if you capture moisture under the clear coat like in the timber or in the paint or whatever it rises and then it, it looks a smoky film inside it just ruins your paint job, ruins your lure so not that these are the best finishes I've ever done um, rushed them out and also I've, like I said, I've struggled with the paint. I don't think I'll, they'll be fine, but uh, I'm going to have to fire up the wood fire in the future when I'm using the airbrush to make sure I lim eliminate the amount of moisture that's in here just so I don't struggle with that. Did the eyes last night. Right there. There. Showed you one, I think. Showed you a couple and then I turned it off. Now, as I said, I rushed these lures. And um, a couple of them look like they need to uh, need glasses and they need spec savers. A couple of the eye holes aren't lined up spot on. Like I said, these ones aren't for sale. They're just commemorative for the uh, Shield Committee boys. Um, and they'll swim. And they look good from the side. Just don't look at both eyes at the same time. <laughs> They've been a disaster from the word go. Everything I've done, I've had issues with from painting to putting the eye holes in. I've marked the eye holes with a stencil. And I've got these terrible drill bits. And they like start where they should. And then if they hit anything... They move and I've just had issues with the eyes and so they better drill bits I need to sort out the moisture in the paint gun and then other otherwise I'm pretty happy with them. Alright, so let's get some clear coat mixed up and get it on the lures. <clears throat> I'm using Master Automotive Hardener. So it's two to one. So two of uh I think this is A component whatever it is. This is the big one. The big one you use more of, that makes sense. So two of this one. Sit down, Lexi. So I'm going to use a um, tablespoon. One. And then uh, the other one, half a tablespoon, believe it or not. You absolutely do not need to thin this stuff. See how thin this is? Add that in there. Now there's no need to rush with this stuff. Place my spoons in this cup here, which you probably can't see. Just another, just an empty cup, which has got a bit of scudge in it because I've used it for this purpose before. All right, put the hardener away. Just some denatured. Some things jumping down there. Uh... <coughs> just some denatured alcohol. 
In with the spoons. You've got time to do all this. It's how little you have to stress. Give your spoons a good wash because you don't want this stuff setting on your spoons and throwing off your measuring for the future. The more stuff you let set in your spoons, the, um, over time they'll get inaccurate and you'll end up with bad mixes when you do clear coat in the future. So always clean them properly. So I'm just going to put them back. Boom. Where they belong. They have a spot. Like most stuff in my shed. Well, I'm going to put some music on. Right. Mix this good. I'm going to do an initial coat with it as it is on all of those. Put them on the rotisserie. And then as this uh, thickens, I'll do another coat to try and get a bit of a thicker clear. It's really good stuff, but. I'm going to put some music on and you guys can view some clear coating. So what are you looking at? Had a launcher. He wasn't salvageable, guys. I had to get all of the clear coat off and sand it back to this. So we're gonna have to paint this fella again. Uh, give it a quick paint, and we have to let it dry in front of the heater, and then get it clear coated. It's gonna be an hour or so behind this fella here, but anyway, we'll see. How we The guys are here tomorrow to do pizza. Oh, yeah. But first, I need to finish these spinner baits. So, the clear coat is done and dry. I did one coat and then I signed, well not signed, I marked them. Oh, that's a bit dark. I can see that, the camera can't. There we go. Shield member 2020. A little bit of a smudge on that one. Shield winner 2020. So whoever wins a shield will be getting one of these those. Um, yeah. Shield member 2020. So I've marked all the lures. This one is mine. I'm keeping that one. I'm a shield member. I get to have one and I'm having that one because it's prudy. So so yeah, bear with me. Um, so they're clear coated, dry, clear coated, dried, written on, clear coated, dried. Now we're gonna put blades on them, like I said, second hand blades. But I'm hoping that they'll look pretty good. Let's uh, let's put them on. See how they come out. And sadly, that's it guys for this video. 
I am not going to be giving these to the um, to the Shield guys, to the other YouTubers, Robbie, Rowan, blah, 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 that's too many. To the other guys in this video, um, tomorrow we are filming the behind, well, I'll be filming the behind the scenes of the Shield meeting. So if a GoPro up, we'll be uh, table set up over here, having pizza, having a few drinks, having a laugh, discussing channels. It'll be interesting. Uh, worth a watch guys because you might actually see some channels that you don't know about uh, these are channels that we're putting forward for being the best in the industry there'll be honorable mentions and then there'll be a short list from all of the guys there so so guys worth checking out because you might find some more awesome content to watch but i'm going to be presenting these to those guys tomorrow so that'll be on that video also you'll find out who won the shield so who gets the winner lure so that's going to go to someone as well so um yeah exciting stuff guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the build i know it was a little bit different because it wasn't as in detail because there's so much going on but this is my first batch build and we had some hiccups we had a couple of eyes that are a little bit you know like how you going Whoop. One here, one here sort of thing. We'll sort that out in the future. I'll get better drill bits for that. And um, and also, I'm going to have to crank the fire in the future to stop that painting issue with the moisture. But, yeah, I'm look, I'm actually pretty happy with the finished product on most of these. can't complain actually I think it looks pretty professional so again guys thanks for watching don't forget like subscribe share all of that goodness and stay tuned because hopefully in the next couple of days the shield behind the scenes will go up I will wait for Shaney I think Shaney will be doing the announcement this year seeing as he's a reigning champ so I'll wait for Shaney to put out a video naming the shield recipient and then um, and the behind the scenes video will go up. So this will be up hopefully tomorrow night, Friday, Saturday night, which means it's already decided. So you just got to keep an eye out on Shaney's video uh, channel. Robbie did it last year, but either Robbie or Shaney will be uh, announcing the winner. So keep an eye out there, guys. Um, and yeah, check out the other guys. I'll link them all below. And uh, and in tomorrow's or in my next video, the behind the scenes, I'll actually link. Try and link everyone mentioned. I'll see how I go with that. Thank you. It means so much to us guys to that you watch us build lures and watch us fish and all that sort of stuff. And we can't thank you enough. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Don't forget to fish every opportunity.